This animation has been developed from data obtained during the investigation and is for illustrative purposes only. It is not to be used for further analysis. Aircraft models in this animation are not to scale. In the early evening on the 5th of August 2019, a Boeing 737 operated by Qantas with 181 people on board was on approach to Sydney Airport's runway 34 right. Meanwhile, an Airbus A330 also operated by Qantas with 163 people on board was awaiting a clearance to line up and take off from the same runway. After waiting for a preceding aircraft to clear the runway, a trainee aerodrome controller under instruction in the Sydney Air Traffic Control Tower issued a clearance to the A330 crew for an immediate takeoff, and they complied. Assessing there could be insufficient runway separation between the A330 and the anticipated arrival of the 737, the controller instructed the approaching 737 crew to go around. The 737 flight crew initiated the missed approach procedure by climbing on the runway heading, but did not make a right turn when climbing through 600 feet as required by the procedure. About 10 seconds later, the controller instructed the 737 flight crew to turn, and they did so. Meanwhile, the A330 followed the standard instrument departure track by turning right shortly after passing the departure end of the runway, and the two flight paths began to converge. As the two aircraft were turning right and climbing, the A330 flight crew received a traffic alert from the onboard traffic collision advisory system. The separation between the aircraft reduced to about 0.42 nautical miles, about 800 metres laterally, and about 500 feet vertically. The ATSB found that because the respective departure and missed approach procedures involved climbing from a low level and heading to the east, controller intervention was needed to maintain separation. Controllers at Sydney did not have procedural controls to draw upon to separate aircraft in this type of situation when it occurred at low altitudes and at night. The ATSB identified three safety issues relating to the procedures and controller training, as well as another safety issue relating to the use of operational risk assessments for specific scenarios. Air Services Australia has subsequently redesigned the missed approach procedure and incorporated related scenarios in its controller training. Air Services and Qantas both carried out several other safety actions in response to the occurrence, and all safety issues identified by the ATSB have now been adequately addressed. You can read the final report on the ATSB's website by searching AO-2019-041.